Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about more properties of exponents, and we want to simplify this problem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. 2x to the 0 power, y squared, all to the negative third power, times 2y, x to the third power. What do we need to do from here? Well, x to the 0 power is just 1, so we don't really need that. Okay, and we kind of cross it off. So this is multiplied by 1. That kind of makes things a little easier here. This negative third power means that we can put this whole thing in the denominator, but raised to a positive third power. So I'm going to take this part here, leave it in the numerator, 2y, x to the third. But this part here is going to go down to the denominator. So we have 2y squared. Remember, the x to the 0 is just 1. Don't need to write that. And negative third power becomes a positive third power. Okay, well now let's distribute it. 3 can go to both parts here. Well, numerator stays the same, 2y x to the third. Denominator, 2 to the third power is 8. y squared to the third power, we multiply the exponents, that's a y to the sixth power. Okay, and now we need to simplify a little more. <clears throat> 2 and 8, that becomes a 4, right? 2 divided by 8 is a 4, or 1 fourth. y to the sixth, Cancels out with this one y, that y is gone, and y to the fifth. So lastly, we're just done. We have x to the third coming down, simplify, four here, y to the fifth power, and now we are done. That is our final answer. If this video was helpful to you, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for everyone in the world and for you. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com